Welcome, everyone. Today, I have a couple of stories that really got me thinking.、Um, well, actually, I've been thinking about this stuff for a while, but I haven't been on YouTube that long, so this is my first real opportunity to vent about it.、Uh, I'll put links to the stories in the description if you want to read them. I'm just going to cover the highlights and offer my two cents afterwards. So, the first story. City of Milwaukee applies for $50 million federal grant to cover DNC safety costs. Well, like the headline says, the story just briefly, briefly goes into why they're applying for these funds.、Uh, it's pretty brief.、It、talks about how they're applying for the grant to cover the additional safety costs related to the upcoming convention.、Um, the second story. About Milwaukee request $50 million grant goes into a little more detail. It,、uh, it turns out Congress sets aside funds to help cities offset some or most of the、uh, public safety costs for quote unquote national security events. And this year it's $100 million. To be split evenly between the Democratic and Republican national committees. Now, anytime there's a big national event, mayors and you know, police chiefs will tell you,、uh, you know, we can't possibly be expected to bear the total cost of safety services. Now, that's fair enough. I mean, my question is this. Why is the federal government involved at all? Should the feds be paying to offset security costs for events like political conventions, the Super Bowl, and the World Series? I mean, keep in mind the RNC, the DNC, and the NFL are private organizations. Why aren't they shouldering you know, a bigger share of the safety costs? You know, the local jurisdictions can obviously cover some of the expenses given the additional sales and hotel taxes collected、uh, during the events, but the rest, it seems to me, should be, paid, should be paid for by the private companies. Now, whether that's 50 50 or 60 40, I mean, I don't know. There might be, you know, or there must be some kind of a split.、Uh, That could be reached without needing to involve Uncle Sam. And just because the events are related to a presidential election doesn't, in my opinion, make them quote unquote national events. I mean, again, the DNC and the RNC are still private organizations. They just happen to be selecting the person they want to run for president in cities where. They chose to hold their events. So, let me explain just, just how this is going to work. $50 million per city is a nice round number. You know, maybe it'll, it'll cost the city you know, that much to secure the event, and maybe it won't. But... Since it's a reimbursement grant, they'll make sure the budget hits the full $50 million. Now, first, the majority of funds will be for overtime pay for police, fire, and EMS personnel. I mean, you can't cut back on public safety to the rest of the city during an event. So, everyone working will either be pulled in on their off days. Or they'll work double shifts. And this includes any personnel they bring in from neighboring jurisdictions. Now, once the overtime and fringe benefits are settled up, the balance of the $50 million will be stacked with all kinds of technology, supplies, and equipment. The cities, have, you know, the cities have on their wish lists. You know, items like 
communications accessories, laptops, body armor, radios. Um, those are always popular. You know, it's, it's items that they have wanted to purchase or replace, but didn't have the funding. And here's a perfect opportunity for them. And then you have the bigger ticket items, mobile surveillance cameras, drones, metal detectors, and other body scanning equipment. And, you know, maybe even some specialized uniforms and equipment to deal with, I don't know, explosives or hazardous materials. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying local governments shouldn't have these items. I'm simply questioning whether federal funding should be used to pad their inventories or to replace old equipment that should be covered with local dollars. Now, look at what happened in... Let's see, where can I find it? Okay. Okay, it's on the screen now. So look at what happened in Philadelphia in 2016. The feds gave the city almost $50 million for public safety, and an auditor found that more than 25% of the expenses were either bogus or had no documentation. I mean, is that what we want? Just to give a city a ton of money and hope an auditor catches unallowable expenses a couple years down the road and maybe claws back you know, some of that money, you know, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that's the best way to manage public safety funding for political, you know, and even private conventions. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only exception I would make to this is for the Olympics. You know, it's a once in a generation event that's ridiculously large and you really don't want to skimp on security when you have athletes and tourists from around the world visiting your country. And there's, there's really no way that, uh, that the sales and hotel taxes and the ticket prices could cover all of the necessary security, police, fire, overtime, and equipment costs. So, so what do you think? Should the feds reimburse local governments for public safety services provided to private organizations' events? I'm curious. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. All right, that's my news and commentary for the day. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like it or give it a thumbs up, whatever the case may be. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you next time.